He was warned off Cheryl by her partner Liam Payne during the X Factor Judges Houses stage. And I can reveal R.A.K.S.U.'s newly single Miles Stevenson has already turned his attentions to another pretty brunette who works behind the scenes. Miles Stevenson has started flirting with another woman after being warned off Cheryl the X Factor singer has been growing close to show researcher Demi K sparking anger from bosses after she broke the show's strict rules for staff. A source said their flirting has become a big talking point in the contestant's house and has been noticed by some of the crew. It's against the rules and now bosses have given her a ticking off. Demi seems very taken with Miles' charm and they've been hanging out together at the contestant's house. Demi K, a show researcher, has been told off by bosses for flirting with Miles. They've struck up a real connection and have been spending all their free time together, but have already been warned not to take their flirting any further. Raksu are the favorites and Simon Cowell's priority. He doesn't want anything getting in the way of their focus. It's the second warning Miles has received after he got into hot water with two of the show's biggest former stars, Cheryl and Liam. After he gave the girls a loud star the eye during his performance at Simon's house in France, guest judge Cheryl was forced to declare him taken, sorry. Former 1D man Liam then commented during his own performance he fancies my missus so I've got to keep an eye on him. Miles' secret flirtations come after the RB hunk, who has steamrolled through the competition with bandmates Ashley, Jamal and Mustafa, secretly split from long-term girlfriend Rebecca Bignall after reaching the show's live finals. Miles and Demi have been seen hanging out at the contestants' house. Miles is newly single and is part of the group Raksu, who are the favorites to win X Factor but HES not the first X Factor wannabe to have caught Demi interest, either. She sparked romance rumors last year after getting close to champ Matt Terry. That could have proved awkward when he returned to the X Factor stage on Saturday. Raxu perform original Mona Lisa in the X Factor quarterfinal read on for more of Dan Wharton's bizarre column got the pinking feeling pink was caught making an awkward expression while Christina Aguilera performed a tribute to Whitney Houston pink looked great on the red carpet at the American Music Awards but was cringing after she took her seat. The singer was caught with an awkward expression on her face as former enemy Christina Aguilera performed an emotional tribute to Whitney Houston. But Pink later took to Twitter to insist she loved Christina's medley, two months after she told me on My Bizarre Life podcast that they had ended their feud. Pink tweeted Christina Fink killed it tonight for one of our favorite singers ever. This about Whitney, and I am in awe of Christina's talent. Show the clip where I'm in tears, you negative Nancys. DJ Khaled lifted his son Ace up like Simba on the red carpet. Lady Gaga performed her single The Cure at the American Music Awards. Niall Horan won the New Artist of the Year. The winners for the American Music Awards elsewhere. DJ Khaled turned up at Sunday's ceremony at LA's Microsoft Theatre lifting up son Ace like Simba. Lady G.A.G.A.'s performance of single The Cure was beamed live from her Washington concert. And Selena Gomez debuted her blonde hair. Bruno Mars was the big winner, in seven awards. Diana Ross won the Lifetime Achievement Award. Coldplay got Tour of the Year and Niall Horan Ed New Artist of the Year. Following the release of debut album Flickr last month, he definitely deserves it. Selena Gomez debuted her blonde hair pink appears to scowl throughout Christina Aguilera's AMA's performance Bisbit A film adaptation of Enid Blight and children's favorite The Magic Far Away Tree is in the works. Studio Canal has announced it is teaming up with director Sam Mendes Neil Street Productions to bring the work to the big screen. Tongue lashing for shades Jamie Jamie Dornan defended the film Fifty Shades Freed after criticism that the film glamorizes UAL violence Jamie Dornan has spoken out to defend his Fifty Shades trilogy after the film's were slammed amid the recent Hollywood UAL harassment scandal. The latest and final film, Fifty Shades Freed, has drawn criticism for glamorizing UAL violence but the actor insists this is not the case. Speaking in an exclusive chat, Jamie, who plays billionaire bondage lover Christian Grey, said I don't think the UAL harassment claims will have any effect on our. It's nothing to do with it. Fifty Shades doesn't glamorize abuse. There's UAL harassment in every industry. It's not exclusive to Hollywood.
Trailer for 2018 Fifty Shades Freed starring Jamie Dornan and Dakota Johnson The films came under fire after a trailer for the Fifty Shades Freed was released earlier this month. Critics claimed it celebrated abuse as mere entertainment. Fifty Shades of Grey became the most successful 18-rated franchise in UK box office history back in March. No wonder Jamie's not concerned. Its Atomic Kitten for Kerry next year would have been 20 years with Atomic Kitten, but Kerry, right, publicly called Natasha, middle, AC next year would have marked 20 years of Atomic Kitten, but Kerry Katona won't be around to celebrate it, much to her bandmates' surprise. Rumors emerged on Sunday that Natasha Hamilton and Liz McLaren had kicked her out, but I have learned it was Kerry who decided to quit. Things became tense between the girls after Kerry publicly called Natasha AC last month. And yesterday Kerry posted on Instagram that she had left the group, leaving the other members stunned. A source close to the band said both Liz and Natasha had no idea about Kerry leaving the band until she posted it on her social media. They feel used by her. I'm sure the three-piece can still work things out. Kerry Katona brands Atomic Kitten bandmate a toxic C and slams Gemma Collins in shocking drunken rant Bizbit Top of the Pops is returning with Christmas and New Year specials. Fern Cotton and Reggie Yates will host the hour-long BBC One shows. Ed Sheeran, Dua Lipa, Rita Ora, Craig David and James Arthur will perform. Bazaar Jukebox There are loads of new tunes out this week and I bring you the best of them. My Bizarre Jukebox Spotify playlist is updated every Tuesday with 15 tracks from my favorite artists and new talent. Here are four on this week's list Cycles Tovlos new album Blue Lips was released last Friday She has a knack for writing great pop tunes and Tovlo is back to her best with third album Blue Lips, which was released on Friday. This about a crumbling romance is one of my faves from the emotional record. Kings and Queens Paloma Faith has knocked Taylor Swift off of the top spot in the charts one of the best tracks. From Paloma Faith's new album The Architect, which has stormed to the top of the midweek chart. She has knocked Taylor Swift off the number one spot and out of the top five. Get It Right Diplo's newest Get It Right features Danish singer Mo after teaming up for major laser hits Lean On and Cold Water. Diplo went back into the studio with Danish singer Mo for this track. It appears on the For Major Lasers Apple Music docu Give Me Future. In Charme La Culpa Luis Fonzi has teamed up with Demi Lovato to produce another big hit after making one of the year's biggest hits with Dispacito. Puerto Rican pop star Luis Fonsi has done it again with the help of Demi Lovato. The track was only released on Friday but is already at number 39 midweek. How to Listen 1. Follow Spotify.com Bazaar Jukebox 2. Search for Bazaar Jukebox on Spotify 3. Scan the code above with your phone Victoria Beckham won't be squeezing into her Spice Girls cat suit again, except perhaps for private time with hubby David. During an interview on This Morning yesterday, Posh Dashed hopes for a final time that she will ever reunite with former bandmates Jerry Horner, Mel B, Mel C and Emma Bunton. Joining Bass Pally Valingoria on the show, she said it's not happening. At some point you have got to know it's time to say, that was great but... Girl power is still out there, and I still believe in it. But I won't be slipping into a PVC catsuit anytime soon. And after interviewer Alison Hammond quipped, just in the bedroom, she added you said that and not me fresh scandal for him a celebs Jack Maynard is naked snaps a leaked Paul Hollywood's marriage broke down over Bake Off stars wondering I dancing on ice boots two professional skaters following Blazing Rose Amir Khan wimps out in first Bush Tucker trial after grabbing a snake Ant McPartlin reveals he almost d after secret two-year addiction to super strong painkillers led to psychosis, hallucinations and Finally a 5 a.m. hospital dash.